Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Well, tonight I want to try something that I saw online. I thought I'm going to try it to do some different, a different background technique, but it needed some um, umber, umber, burnt umber or raw umber paint, and I don't have any, so I looked up how to make it. And to make it, if in my opinion, the way this looks when I was done making it, I could have probably just used brown paint, but I'm going to try it because it says, okay, like 10 parts of... Um, yellow. Sorry about the pounding, but oh well. Um, so like, uh, I'm trying to use up as much paint as I can. So um, there's that. And then if I run, if I need more yellow, I'll just grab some of that chalk paint that it has. So yellow, a little, and two parts of red. Which the last time I tried to put two parts, I put way too much. So maybe that was my problem last time. So let's just try to like, maybe that's too much. Oh darn it. And then one part of black. So that's how they said to make umber. <sighs> Not a very good part maker. But then when you put it all together, kind of makes, look at that, what it does. Isn't that cool? Oh, sorry. Oh, way too much black. Well, maybe not. Well, I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow and a little bit more red. So it just looks like a brown gooky mess to me. So, I don't know how to make mix paint. And you know what I've, I learned? Not learned, but I read a long time ago when I first started making a mess that acrylic paints are impossible to mix. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I read. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of believing it. Okay, well, that's kind of a mucky umber. We're just going to roll with it, you guys. I don't know. Okay, so... The whole idea is we're going to make some, um, we are going to make some, we're going to have to make more of that probably. I'll probably just get out some brown. No, because it's fun to try to make it. We're going to make some marbled paper. Not going to make a lot, just a few sheets. I already made some. Believe it or not, I did something without you guys watching for a change. I don't know why. I just decided to try it before I did it. I never do that. But I just kind of, it was, it's Halloween. And I had a couple of visitors, like one whole group. There was like a bunch of kids, but there wasn't many kids in the group, right? So I thought, well, if that's going to happen, because I did buy candy just in case, and I've already eaten half of it. Now I have, I've had, a, I did have a few pieces because I noticed there was some, for crying out loud, there was some M&M peanuts in there. You can't give out peanuts to kid. My goodness, I had to eat those. Okay, so, because they might have an allergy. <laughs> right? Anyway. Here, happy Halloween, you guys. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so what you do is you get some paper, any old paper, get some raw umber or burnt umber or whatever. Raw umber? I don't know. And um, then you squish up a piece of paper as good as you can, and then you roll it in the, uh, the um, you try to get it as good as you can. I'm just going to do it this way. Last time I did it with my hand, you know, it was a big fat mess. So there we go. I'm just going to say it. That's good. Okay? And then just, just get it, the whole outside of it as good as you can. I can tell that I might be making some more, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe doing it this way, I'll get le more on the paper and less on the palm of my hand, right? Because that would be good. I just feel like making a mess tonight, you guys. I need you to try something different. I do need some backgrounds for some stuff and... I'm going to try something new. This is new to me. Probably not to you guys. You guys are... You guys are the bomb.com. You guys got this stuff down. I'm still learning. I'm still making a mess and loving it. So, yeah, I asked my daughter if she's going out tonight. She says she's just with some friends. But I think that's code for... Yeah. <laughs> I just said be careful because people get crazy when they're behind a mask, don't you think? I really think that's true. I think people put on a mask and all of a sudden, oh, nobody knows it's me, you know, or whatever. I mean, not normal people, but people that are a little off don't need any encouragement, am I right? Or any excuse. Any old excuse will do these days. It's freaking crazy out there, you guys. It's a jungle out there. It's hard being a parent these days, I've decided. I decided I'm not wacko, I'm not psycho. It's just freaking hard. People are getting, it's just hard. And I'm not, 
So I'm not I'm not going to apologize for being so overprotective or you know whatever with my kid because it's hard. These it's hard. It's just hard. But I don't want to go there. Okay, but I already did. <laughs> I'm in a funky mood tonight. Look at that. Doesn't that just look like brown paint? I mean, I sure I could have probably just used some brown paint. But it wouldn't have been as fun. So now we have our marble paper. I mean, our, you know, whatever. Just more on there a little bit. What here and there. I don't even know it's the right side anymore. Okay, that's going to be a cool thing to show you when I do my patty patty. Oh, by the way, surprise! Those of you that got some of my, um, my packs got a couple of pieces of fatty patty. The, fir the original. Because I decided to keep give some of the uh, pages away of it in those packs and keep some of the pages that have some of them are personal notes. Because she's so big and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that because everybody loves Patty Patty so I'm sharing the joy. And, and I'm making another one and I'll probably keep the one I'm making now because, well, I don't know why. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I'm just going to pull it like that. So yeah, this is kind of a mess, messy way just to, but where are we? We're at, let's make a mess today. That's what we do. We make a mess and we enjoy it. <laughs> okay. So there we have our sort of marbled papers, our messy hands. I'm going to clean out my water and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm blow drying or I'm not, I'm heat, heat drying these little pieces. You can turn them over and smush them down on the paper, your um, background page if you want, if you're messy like me. And you, I love to have backdrops so that I can use it for other things. Um, but again, I'm just using deli sheet, music sheet, uh, reading paper, and actually a couple deli sheets because <clears throat> I really like the way it looked on this, this deli sheet earlier, and I'm going to use that in a tag that I make tonight for you. So, yeah. So let's just go ahead and get these. I don't think they have to be perfect, okay? I'm, you know me. If they did, I wouldn't be doing it. So there's that. Now again, doesn't that just look like brown to you? So if you guys don't have umber, probably just use brown, but or try to make a better umber. Again, I don't think you can... I really honestly don't think that I know what I'm doing when it comes to mixing paint. That's the bottom line. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think that acrylic paint is very easy to mix so I don't know that's just what I read and I'm that's my story and I'm sticking to it so all right so I went ahead and got a paper plate which I will keep this yumminess make sure I don't have two I will keep this and because what you want to do but before I do that hold on you guys I need to grab one thing I wish I had one I did my ones earlier is my my water so I've got some spray water because that'll thin things out when it starts to thicken up all right, so I'm gonna try, I wanna do one, this first one, I'm gonna do it. So before I used like this and this, and I really liked it, but I kinda wanna do, I mean, I'm gonna try a black and a white and make like a marbly, a black and white. I know that sounds funny, but it's just what I wanna do. Ooh, there's another pretty blue, I'd like to use that. But I, I want to make a black and white one. I don't know how well that will go, but we will see together. So I'm sure we don't need much of that. I'm sure we don't need much of this. And uh, let's just get that on there. Okay. And then we'll take our, I'm just going to use a, uh, what do you call it? This favorite nasty brush that I like the most. I love these brushes. <laughs> I really, I really do. Okay, so. What I'm trying to go for here is a little bit spookier, maybe. Now, I don't know if there's a right side, nope. It doesn't matter on this. This is somebody sent me this specific um, um, 
deli paper. It's not the one I normally use, which is great. I wanted to try it. Um, but uh, I can't tell which is the right, you know, because one side is shiny and one side is not. And you're not supposed to put it on the shiny side. But you know what? There's no rules right here. So I don't know. I'm going to use this full, you know what I mean, like that, because I want it like that. I want it. I want the coverage of this white. And then I'll spray it a little bit. I don't want it to just be transparent. If I wanted it transparent, I wouldn't put any paint on there, am I right? I, I mean, I'm just guessing. But yeah, I just kind of want this, this look. Yeah. Gracie's up on the table over there, which is, you know, Gracie. Now if I get a little bit of gray going on in there, I'm all good. Um, as a matter of fact, I love it. Oh, I love this page. This is my favorite one so far, you guys, and I'm just winging it. I love it. Look at that. Isn't that fun? That is fun. Let's just smoosh some. Okay. I want a little bit more. Now that I made it too gray, I want some more black over here. Well, I guess that'll be okay. Because I'll show you what I'm gonna do. No, it needs more black. So I'm just gonna put some black here. Go like so, put some black here. And squirt. There we go. And hope for the best. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, we like, me likey. Oh yeah, I love that. Hold on. I like that a lot. So, but now what I did is I covered up all the brown. See, probably shouldn't have done that. See what I did? I covered up the brown, but I guess I could get some of that. Here. Oh, too late. Too bad. Too late. Too bad. So sad. Oh no, that's good. There we go. We got some. Oh, we got some brown back. We got some brown back, you guys. Didn't we? Yeah, there we go. All right, that's cool. Let's let this dry. As I spray some water on it. Okay, stop, Dawn. Don't ruin it, it's perfect right now. I really like this one. Because I have my image. I'm gonna use that image, I think. I think so. Oh, I love that. All right, so let me go put this over here to dry. Gracie, you're sitting right there, but I'm gonna put this right by you. I love that. That's neat. Okay. All right. So let's not do another black one. Let's do. Let's do one of these. This purple one. Oh, I don't want to get paint on the shirt. I don't want to get this paint on the shirt. Why am I wearing it? Mm. I ask you that. Mm -hmm. Silly girl. Silly girl. That's me. Silly girl. Okay, what would go good with this one? Mess, don't don't mess with that paint. Okay, I think this paint now. Just to make it a little different. Does it look marbly to you? Because that's what we're going for. I don't know. <laughs> or does it? But it is a unique background. Let's just you know. Let's just say it is kind of unique. So it's different than what I've seen in a while. So. I'm gonna yeah, that's my story. Oh, that's pretty. It's gonna take it a while to dry, but it's all right. We got nothing but time, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm glad I didn't buy a ton of candy because I ended up getting only that whole one big group, which is good. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Like that. That's fun, you guys. I hope you do this. It's called marbling. So, oh my gosh, that's so wet. All right. 
So let's do let's do some black and blue. Let's see what that looks like. Just because I'm curious. Where's that other blue? This blue. This blue? No, this blue. I want to use this blue. Oh, I know I'm going to get paint on my shirt for sure. Mm, it's all right. Well, this is a great way to come home and spend some time, right? I still have to take a shower and do all that. I already made my lunch. I'm a good girl. Why well, isn't working a hassle? Making your lunch and getting ready and getting up in the morning and oh boy, it's such drama. You know, after a certain age, you really do get tired of it. Am I right? I'm serious. Like, I'm tired of it. <laughs> but you know what? A lot of people don't have the... This is ripped. We don't care. A lot of people don't have the um, luxury of getting tired of it. You know? And it's not like I'm saying I'm going to retire rich because I'm scared. I probably should. But like somebody else online told me, you will work it out somehow. It will work out, so, okay. There's that, I believe that. I'm gonna believe that, I'm gonna trust that. Isn't that cool, you guys? Isn't that fun? My mess making thing tonight. Love it. Okay, and then one more. This one, I wanna go back with some of this green. I like this green. Green and blue. I love this. Never thought I would like this kiwi green ever, but when you use it, there's it's something about it. It just pops once you actually put it on. I mean, who would think you would like this? It's like that, what, chartreuse or something? But once you actually start using it in projects, you're like, that's neat, you know? It's kind of funny. So how are you guys doing? Do you guys get many trick-or-treaters where you live? I don't, I'll be. My first, this is my first, uh, first year here why am I going and so I didn't know what to expect I honestly just did not know what to, to expect so I'm glad I got at least something but it's like I said it's a kind of an Indian community and I don't think they well honestly I know that they don't trust anybody that they don't know and probably pretty darn smart but I hope that they like me. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not a mean old lady over here. There's a mean old lady upstairs. She takes their, their toys away from them. and She's mean, the lady upstairs. She's wicked. You probably think I'm like her because I have blonde hair. and Well, I don't have blonde hair anymore, actually. Because I have gray hair. <laughs> actually, it's not gray. It's white, see? It's white. It's probably blue now, see? With blue. Well... But yeah, so I don't want her. I don't want them to get the impression that everybody's mean. They just have blonde hair. You know, they look at me sometimes like really shy. It makes me feel kind of bad. Like, anyway, okay. So there's this one. I like it. I like it. So what I do with this is just this. I kind of smush it off and I go like that. Smush it off because I will probably keep this paper plate and use it for something else once it dries. It's full of yumminess and goodness. Let's move this over. That's actually what I did before with these. Was I just kind of like that. Smushed it too. This is really making a mess. I mean, you guys, I love it. I mean, that'll be coming in handy for something somewhere along the line. I don't know what. And then there's this. Isn't that pretty? So that's fun. So, I want to blow dry this one, or at least turn it upside down, and if it gets a little bit of color on it, I won't care, because that would be kind of cool, because I'm going to use this one in our project tonight. Ooh, yeah, I got some blue on it. That's neat. Here, let's go over here. Let's see if we can pick up some of that green. That'd be nifty. Ooh, yeah. Ooh-wee. 
I like it. I love it. Look at this messy background. I love it. Okay, so there's that. I actually love this one. And since it's halloween -y and it's kind of grungy, I think we'll roll with that. But for now, I'm going to clean up my mess, wash my hands, dry this off, and be right back. Hi, guys. I'm back. Okay, so, oh, my God. I don't know about you, but I love this. I love the texture. I don't know if you can see it. I love the crinkle, and I love the color, and I wish I had real burnt umber, but I don't care. I, this just works for me. This is just grungy, and it's cool. And I'm going to make a couple of tags with it, and then I'll show you the rest when I'm finished making the tags, because it's Halloween. I'm probably the last YouTuber on the world in the world to put anything out. I don't, I don't think I'm going to use her. She's too pink, so I'll save her for next year. Um, on these, I believe I want to put some gesso. So I'm just gonna put some gesso. Does that one need gesso? Uh, that one might not. This one, yeah, I guess. I wanna cover up the jot and all that. I could put some book pages down on here, but no. Hmm, or do I? Why don't I put a few book pages down on here while I'm at it? Oh, I got some right here, why not? And actually, I have some ghost ones in here. Oh, oops, sorry, I hate that when that happens. I have my little ghost book. Oh yeah, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Here it is. A little ghost book. Remember when you were a kid and you read these stories? Well, I still have some. I have this one. Not from when I was a kid. I found it and I was like, oh my god, I remember that. I remember that. And so we're just gonna glue stick, because you know how much I love my glue stick. But look at the yumminess of this color, right guys? Like, hello. Hello. The lucky man. Look at this, like one page. Let's read it. Once there was a, a man lying in a bed asleep and he woke up, he heard something flapping. He got up, he walked softly to the window and he saw it. It was white, flapping in the moonlight. It was under a tree. It would flap its arms out in the moonlight and then slip back into the shadow of a tree. Do we know what this is or not? It's a ghost, thought the man. I'll fix him before he gets into the house. Very stealthily, he took his gun down off the wall where he hung it at night, and he shot holes in the flapping thing, one after another, but it went on flapping. Guys, <laughs> like we totally know what this is, right? At last, the man went back to bed. If he hadn't killed it, at least he had scared it, he thought, for it stayed in the shadow of the tree and came no nearer. In the morning, the man got up and went downstairs. His wife had was already in the kitchen. You fool, she said, shooting your clean nightshirt full of holes. She had washed it the day before and hung it in the tree to dry. Oh, my nightshirt, said the man. Gosh, lucky I wasn't in it. <laughs> it's called the lucky man. We're going to use this one because it was so bad. I thought it was a sheet, to be quite honest with you. I honestly thought that's going to be his a sheet, right? Oh, my gosh. Now I'm reading you guys' stories. Oh, well, Oh, well, you love me anyway. Okay, so let's do this. And we're going to stick that on there. Oh, I'm going to cover that up. We're going to cover that up. So do you guys get, get many, um, what do you call it, trick-or-treaters or no? I didn't. I got the one set. That's fine. I didn't get anywhere I used to live. So, you know, it's fine. I don't, I think in my neighborhood, I used to take my kid down to this place in the area where all the kids went. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was crazy. It was like rich people from, from, uh, from Hollywood would put on these great big productions every year. And it was like one year, ugh, it's great horse cops on horsebacks, you know, and they have no driving on the streets. It's all, this whole neighborhood is crazy. When, one year when my kid was little, I went in there and they had, um, one uh, family put up this, like a couple of gurneys and some people were laying on the gurneys and the guy had a chainsaw. Of course, there was no chain in the saw, but I mean, he was chainsawing people. It was like, are you kidding me? It was incredible. It was really something else. So, um, yeah. I remember my kid was scared and then the next year they didn't do that. But I went back that year and I put a thank you card on their uh, porch. Because I thought, are you? That was the that was probably the best, bar none, um, Halloween scare that I had ever had. 
But I get it. It was too much for the people. For you know, I, I get it. So they probably were got told to tone it down. I mean, there was they had smoke, smoke, not smoke, but what do you call it? Um, you know, fog, fog machines, and ooh, music, and the sound of the chainsaws. I mean, this, these people were definitely Hollywood pipes. You know. And that's the neighborhood where my daughter was... Remember, have you ever seen that movie? Um, what do you have? Aaron Brockovich. Well, you know the the guy, the Masri, the, the lawyer? My daughter was dating his grandson, whose name was Ed Masri. Is Eddie, actually. So, I mean, that's the kind of people that lived in this neighborhood. You know, ho definitely Hollywood types, so... Yeah, they had the money to do stuff like that. So that's why everybody went there. It was so funny. Hilarious. Oh, and by the way, one of these tags is going to be in the October drawing. And we will be having the October drawing in a few days. I have some more Happy Meal, you guys. So I know that some of you wanted me to open it by Halloween, I'm sure, because there's so many cute decorations on it. But I decided to hold off and do it next Monday and then have my drawing at the same time because... It'll just work out better for um, the drawing. So thank you so much, you guys, for entering the drawing and sending me little packages. I appreciate the fact that you are actually sending me smaller, more manageable packages. I really do appreciate that, you guys. I love getting the big packages. Don't get me wrong. I miss the big, beautiful packages from you guys because, my gosh, you know. But, um, oh, Gracie. Hi. You want to come say hi? Here. Gracie needs to come and say hello. Come on. Come and say hello. I miss the big packages, you guys, so much because it's so much fun to get such wonderful things, you know, so many at once, but it's too much for me. It's just too much, and, and I'm going to be moving in like six months, so yeah, keep the small ones coming, and, and there you go, say bye, and, uh, and, uh, and, and it'll all be good, and then when I move to Oregon, send me great big ones again. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get greedy again. Send me those great big lovely packages that you guys send. I love it. You guys are so wonderful to me. You really are the best best people on YouTube. I feel so fortunate to, to have, have you guys in my life. You guys have really kept me sane during this last few couple years. It's been crazy. You know, I know you have other um, other people that you you can watch and spend your time with and I appreciate that you spend some of your time with me I really 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 do just so you know I don't I really really I know that I know that I'm not your like normal youtuber with lots of knowledge and all that so I totally get it but yeah but I hope you learn a little something from me because I do a little research online and I try to find stuff that maybe you don't see and that we can all do together, you know. I try to find the easy stuff too. Have you noticed that about me? I like to do the easy stuff. All right, let me get my little heat gun that Roma sent me. Roma, so there we go. Sorry about the lighting, you guys, it's not great. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that become pretty. So I'll let these dry a little bit. Have a drink of this. Not all, all, all the ice is melted. That's okay. So it's Wednesday night, Halloween night, and I'm ready for Friday. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for Friday. I'm just gonna go like that because I'm too lazy. And look at it, this little dendritic thing. I don't care. Look, I don't care. That's how I roll. Just gotta get it dry. Get these dry. Yes, I'm already ready for Friday. I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally already ready. <sighs> Most of you are so lucky that you don't have to work. Please count your blessings. I mean, I know it might be a challenge for you sometimes financially. Because um, it's a challenge for me, and I work. You know, I mean, I don't even know how. I, I'm scared to death to retire because I don't know how. But you know what? I'm willing to take that chance because... Um, I just, I'm, I'm so ready. It's like we get ready, don't we? So, yeah. All right, that's dry enough in my opinion. Okay, because all I want to do now is just stick this on there, and that's perfect. Okay, we're gonna Mod Podge. 
Isn't that great? Just Mod Podge that sucker on there. I love, love, love this background. I want to put that one on there. That side. Okay. I didn't know I was going to do all this tonight, but I'm glad I did. Okay, where's my... one's oh, over there. Shoot. Look at here in the room. Oops. I dropped it. That's okay. We've got water. We've got a brush. We've got a towel. We don't need no stinking water. We got everything we need right cheer. Right? Okay. Alright. I filled this up the other day. So well sort of. Not all the way, but got a little bit. I think I painted this with water soluble paint. I can kind of tell, but I hope the Mod Podge contained it a little bit. I don't care if it did or not, actually, to be quite honest. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's go to all the way up to the... There we go. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Ooh, that's pretty. That's awesome. I wish you guys could feel that right now. That feels great. That feels great. Isn't that cool? That's kind of Halloween-y, right? Halloween-y. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty scary. Oh yeah, so I was, was I telling you about what I was going to give you guys for uh, October's drawing? don't think I told you. I'm going to give you guys one of those ephemera packs with a few. I'm going to kind of combine a, an ephemera and paper pack together because those were a hit. So I'm going to do like a combination paper slash ephemera for the, for, the, for the gift with a tag, with this tag. One of these tags, I think, if they turn out. I think they will. I think they will. Look at that texture. I don't know if you can see it. Pretty cool, huh? Here. Oh, I got the best lighting in Texas. It's a good thing I'm not in Texas. All right, so there we go. So what I want to put on here is what? Ooh, I don't know. I was thinking one of these girls because they're Meet the Ghouls character guidebooks. I was giving, I gave a couple of these away. Oh, they might, but they're all too, oh, she's smaller. I don't like her as much. I need a smaller one. Well, I don't have to have the whole, whole nine yards. I kind of do. She's small. <gasps> Ooh, she just might work. Well, she's actually perfect. Hold on. Ooh, and I like her color too. Costa Fierce. Ooh, they're cute. Ooh, I like them. They're so cute. Aren't these cute? Aren't those adorable, you guys? Those are so stinking cute. Meow, meowity and Persephone. <laughs> That's so cute. Well, we're probably not going to use that. Or we might. But yeah, aren't they cute? Just cute little things. Actually, before I do that, though, I want to spray this with some spray. Um, spray. Where is it? I had it. So hold on, you guys. Right here. Hold on. I'm gonna put the black one. Yeah. I'm gonna spray it with this black right here. So I'll be right back. Hold on. I'll do it over here or over there. Sink. There we go. Perfect. Now it's a little dark, but that's okay. I like it. Almost a little too dark, but we don't care. It's okay. No, it is a little dark. Now I need to put some more white on it. So hold on. It's okay. Just a little, you know, just some, I'll show you. Boy, I'm together, right guys? Here, I'll show you what I mean. It's all about layering, right? That's what they say. Just layer, layer. There we go. Because it's going to bring out some of that, you know. Oh, I'm 
I'm getting that black paint, that ink on my, my boss is going to be going painting much, Don. Yeah, boss. Okay, that's good. I like that. You know, just, it's good. Alrighty. Alrighty then. So yeah, because this is ink. Black soot. Nice. Let's let that dry while we cut these little girls out. Let's cut these little girls out. Now, you know, I'm not a fussy, fussy cutter. I don't, I don't fussy, fussy cut. I need to find my Stabilo though, but I have something else that I'm using right now. In, cause, uh, Christine Gianni sent me these oil pastel things, and I use, I've been using that one as my um, like outliner, and it's great. Or I can use um, my, uh, what do you call it? Posca pens, too. Maybe I'll do that for this one. I don't know. We'll see. But I do need to get some Stabilo. I had it in my, um, my list of things tonight. I was going to buy something from Amazon, but I didn't. I was going to buy that, and I was going to buy something that's called Gamasol or something. Then I realized you can just use mineral spirits for, um, oh, she's going to get that cut off. Mineral spirits for um, blending colored pencils, because someone told me about Gamasol. Then I saw a video about it, and I'm like, oh. And I thought, well, and then it's like $8. I'm like, no, I'm not buying that. And that was a small thing, too, right? So then I thought, well, what can you use? It's like... What is it? And then I thought, can you? Well, you can also use alcohol, rubbing alcohol, to blend your colored pencils. So I'm going to try that first, because I am just learning. So I don't need to go spend a fortune on stuff, you know. I and neither do you know. We just need our basic paper and our ephemera, and then to play with. We don't need to go spending a million dollars on a lot of stuff, because that's how we do. When we start out, we all do it. That's what I do. Did. But um, I don't want to right now, you know. I got other, got bigger fish to fry. All I need is paper and glue and scissors and paint and you and my YouTube. And that should get me through until I get moved. And then we're just gonna have a ball, you guys. We're gonna have so much fun when I start doing this all the time. You guys are gonna like, I'm gonna be like live probably. And a better camera because I'm finally going to put that camera together that that someone gave me. Luann Piper. I, I, I call her Luann. She gave me a camera and I still haven't had time to hook it up and play with it. So I'll be doing that. Like one of the first things when I move. I shouldn't say that because it might not be the first thing. But it'll be right up there. I'll tell you that. Isn't that cute? This is so cute. She's adorable. They're adorbs. Okay, I'm gonna push her over there so like so. Actually, I'm gonna go like that and I'm gonna put some black on here. Why do they put everything away? Like what? You know what this kind of needs too though is a few little hits of uh, red. Don't you think? Just to kind of because of them. I think it does. Let me just get like a like a this. Just to you know pop it up a little bit. Oh. That's nice. Okay, that's that. Okay. Just to, you know, kind of scrape it on there a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. Just. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, see, I'll go back down with my brush and everything and get these back down. I didn't go to the corners yet, so get back down there. Who do you think you are? Don't you met with me. Okay. I'm cute. It's a fun tag. And it all started with a marbling technique, which you can't even see anymore, huh? Whatever. Okay. So there's that. They're cute. Do they need a cat behind them or in front of them? Let's see. 
I think they do because they're a cat. So let's put a cat. I don't know why I'm trying to go so close. It's a big mistake for me. Because I can just go around it. I'm a mess. Oh, my nails. This is that um, blue from um, Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, you guys, it lasted forever, at least until I did this. <laughs> it lasted really good and it went on really nice. It covered was really well. But I'm not I'm not picky or anything, so. So yeah. Alright, so we got a little kitty cat. Oh, that was cute. He needs to go behind him. Like so. Like that, right? Oh yeah, that's good. I like it. Alright, so let's get some glue out here and get this thing down, shall we? Let's do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm using this because I know what it's like to glue on paint sometimes. It doesn't work very good. And I don't want Mod Podge because Mod Podge will... Oh, what am I trying to do? Mod Podge will make it wrinklier. So, yeah. Super fun tag, just off the cuff. Okay. All right, you little kitty cat. Kitty cat, we'll do this another day because I'm tired. It's already 7.30 and I gotta get to bed. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I am such a lightweight. Actually, it's 7.30 and I have to take a shower. I did make my lunch and all that already. But I just wanted to spend some time with you guys tonight. I miss you during the week. It's so hard. It's just so hard sometimes. I'm leaving its tail up in case I want to um, put one of their... Um, uh, feet through it or legs. I'm not sure. This is kind of a cardboardy thing, so I'm going to use it like so. Yeah, definitely. Press that over like so. There we go. Cute. All right. We don't want to get it too gluey, though, do we? There we go. I mean, we like to make a mess, but we don't. Look at she's stepping on his tail. That is so cute right now. She is. <laughs> Totally stepping on his tail. Can you see that? Seriously cute. Like, that's funny. I think what we'll do is we'll find a word like meow or something and see what we got. Do we have an E and meow? We have fright and ghoul rip, frightful, fairy wings, chilling, poison, bloody, fortune teller, fortune. How about just sweets? Oh, we got dreadful. Um, I don't know. What do we got here? I don't know. I don't like any of these for this, I don't think. Do I? And I don't want to use this one because it's white. I don't like that. How about just, let's see, they're kitty cats. She's, they're kitty cats. They're adorable. Isn't that cute, you guys? Seriously. Okay. How about. Wicked and Witch. Wicked Witch. There we go. It's Wicked Witch. Wicked Witch. Shoot. I always start hating when I use that scissor when I don't want to use the scissor. Darn it. Darn it. Okay. 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 Let's see. Wicked Witch. That's fine. Those are so cute. They're little tails. Okay. Now, like so. Right? Those will go on there like so. Alright, I need the... What do I need? Probably this. 
And then, um, <laughs> it's like I'm so bad. Like, I am like the worst. But I don't care because it's okay. Wicked Witch. It's fine. It's fine to make it make a mess. I love making a mess. It keeps me sane. And so many of you make the nicest comments like, thank you so much, Dawn. You know, I didn't think I could do it. But you can do it. Cut stuff out. Throw stuff on paper. Have a ball. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to follow any rules. I hate that. Because if I had thought that, I wouldn't be here. And I would be having fun. And I'd be bored to death. And you know what? I don't, I don't care. I don't. I don't, I'm going to put a little black down here. You guys don't, we don't have to know anything to do what we're doing. We can just do this. Who cares? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And I defy anybody to tell us that we are not artists. Look how beautiful. <laughs> right, guys? I defy. Look at the composition. Look at the perspective. <laughs> Guys, I'm so funny. I'm so bad. I am bad. But, but we don't we don't care. We don't care. Okay. See? That's cool. That looks good to me. I love it. And now I am going to find my stabilo. What's this? Oh holy cow! Do you I totally just found my stabilo. Like, that was a complete accident, you guys. That was a complete accident. Okay. All right. It's not very sharp. Um, now if I could find my pencil sharpener. I think I know where it is. It's in here, I think. I broke this, you guys. I told you I was gonna, and I did. <laughs> I totally did. I knew I would. That's how I roll. Okay. I don't care. Still works. I'll just know next time. Better, maybe. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna Mod Podge over this, because I don't want these to get lumpy. And when you guys get it, if you get it, if you want to Mod Podge over it, you just go right ahead. Um, do whatever you want to do. Uh... Yeah, that's your call. This is once I give you guys something, it's yours. I don't care. Okay? So just saying. Now let's get rid of these little white lines around the kitty cat, shall we? Make those go away. Make the black lines go away. Take them off my shoulder. Who sang that song? Make the world go away. That was a good song. I loved that song. Even though I was a little kid, I loved that song. It's like a Perry Como or something. I don't know. Who that, who's that? I just know that name from when I was a kid. My neighbors, um, my my um, uh, my uh, little girlfriend, her mom and dad, they were the coolest people in the neighborhood. Man, you'd go to their house and they were they were having cocktails. My mom never drank; she was a teetotaler, and they were having cocktails and they had albums and <laughs> they wore the coolest clothes. I was like, man, your mom and dad are hip. They're cool. My mom was reading books and. Raising kids. <laughs> and probably the coolest person in the world, I think. I honestly think my mom was the coolest person in the world. Miss her every day. You guys are awesome because you all understand that. You guys are so cool. this do you? I hope you guys like it a lot of fun 
kind of off the cuff. Little, it's just a little Halloween something for you. I thought, I better do something for Halloween. And here it is. So we've learned how to make umber paint. Not. <laughs> we've learned how to make brown paint. We've learned how to crumple paper and make uh, marbly paper, which you probably already knew. And I, and, we, and I made you a tag. All right, so there you go. So there you go. You guys are probably wondering why I squirt. I, I don't do the lick and stuff because my hands are too dirty, or I would. I totally would. I'm not, not saying I wouldn't do that. I'm just saying my hands are dirty and I just like, I like this look better. Sort of. I like them both. If my hands weren't dirty, I'd be all over this spitting and licking. But, yeah, my hands are dirty. So there we go. That doesn't need it because there's already black down there. But. Aren't they adorable? So the little wicked witches. And so this is going to go, oh, I'll put a back on it. And I'll probably put some trim on it for the for the user or for for the person for the winner I should say. Let me go uh, dump this out. Hold on one second, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna close by showing you some of the um, the marbled paper that I did um, tonight by myself before I came online. And I feel funny saying that because I never usually do that. And sorry the lighting is so bad, but it is what it is. It's nighttime and there's no daylight at all. But this is the marbled paper that I did. Now what I did was, once it was finished, is I squirted it with some, um, like this one you can see where I actually did squirt it with some um, paint, it's actually some ink I think. So this was some of the music sheet that I, you know, I crumbled up in a ball, roll it around, open it up, dry it, and then paint it a little bit with some watered down paint. And then after it dried, then I squirted it. So there's this one, this is a deli sheet. Isn't that cool? I, it's really cool. I gotta get some umber paint. I've got a little list of things going on that I'm gonna get, so. But not today. And then we have this. So I really like that one, that's pretty too. Yeah, aren't they pretty though, really? And then there's that, that's kinda cool looking. I mean, the back side is cool looking, really. And when you start working with it, it does add more text, it does add a lot, of, a lot of texture to your work. And then this one is really pretty. You can see where I squirted that a little bit. So this is deli sheets. These two are deli sheets. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. And here's the tag that I ended up making with it. Um, you can feel it, the texture behind it. I, I really did hide it. Um, oh, the cats are fighting. Oh, Gracie and Misty were. Well, actually, it wasn't Misty. Misty was just running. Gracie was fighting. Oh, that cat. I don't know why she does that. Um, I just don't know. So anyway, I almost dropped this one so I didn't see it. So here, you, there's this kind of this grungy one. Actually, this one is actually my favorite. Yeah, it doesn't look like that now, but it did start out kind of kind of cool. So anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, I hope you'll make some. And if you do, show me. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope that you had a great Halloween. Everybody's safe and sound, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye, guys.